Hi friends, namaste. In our yoga practice today, we are focusing on balancing energy by bringing our focus to the seven major energy chakras in the body with the power and the simplicity of yin yoga poses, combining the ancient wisdom of both the chakras and the meridians in our bodies. This is also a nice practice for beginners because our yin poses are held for shorter length. Feel free to take rest and rebound or child pose as needed to absorb your practice and the new energies and then join us when you are ready. I'm using four blocks today. Modify with whatever you have available or maybe no props today. I am really glad that you are joining me here. I'm Rebecca and this is Body Illumination. Welcome. And if you are ready, join me in a comfortable seat on your mat. Notice the breath moving through you, the in-breath and the out-breath. Feel your body shift over your sit bones as you align your spine. Notice spaciousness in the body, energy moving, any restrictions, tightness. Just notice without opinion or judgment. Think about lengthening your spine, making room for all of this energy in our body, feeling the spinning chakras. Let's set an intention or sankalpa, or maybe just a simple affirmation. Okay, let's begin in butterfly pose. Bringing the soles of your feet together, allow your knees to melt open, folding forward onto props or towards your legs. Maybe place a block to support your head or nestle a pillow into your stomach as you pour yourself towards the earth. Bringing our attention to our root chakra at the base of your spine, the Muladhara chakra. The chakra is the color of red. Feel a sense of confidence and groundedness as you focus on that root chakra. Our Muladhara chakra helps with energy, comfort, safety, stability. Find a sense of ease here as you connect to the flow of breath. Our statement for this pose is I am. And again, the seed sound is Lam. You may choose to chant this during the pose to expand the energy center. When you hear those sounds, we have reached the conclusion of our pose and we'll begin to transition. Gently come up and let's stay here in this pose and add the upper body. Take a prop in front of you and place your elbows up into the prop. You can also do this seated upright. Bring your bent arms in front of you and press the palms and forearms towards each other. Let's bring our attention to the second energy chakra, Swadhisthana, in the lower abdominal region. Visualize the color orange, feeling the energy in your lower abdomen. This is a sacred energy center where our creativity stems, our vigor, and also our intuition and openness. The chakra color here is orange. And the statement for this pose is I feel. Again, if you would like to chant the seed mantra, it is Vam. 
Visualize the beautiful color of orange as you melt into this pose. Let's slowly come up, friends. Turn towards the long edge of your mat. Let's extend both legs out into a straddle. For this pose, we are bringing our attention to the first and second energy chakras again. If you want to use props, I suggest sitting on a blanket or maybe a bolster to lengthen the lower back and then use some props in front of you as you would like. You may fold forward between your legs, noticing any sensations, looking for an edge, but no sharp pain or numbing feelings. Do whatever you can in this moment and know with each pose, your body will begin to let go as new energies come into the body and spaciousness Flexibility will come, your tensions will release, and you will be able to progress and evolve yourself further. Be patient and honor the process as you invite in renewed and new energies. If you'd like to chant the seed mantra, it is Vam and Lam. The colors are red and orange. Okay, friends, come up, bring your legs in and turn towards the short edge of your mat. Move onto your knees, lift your hips, separate your feet so that you can lower your hips in between them. Sit onto the earth or onto a prop. I'm taking props behind me. Connect down into the earth and to your breath for this saddle pose. Just pause for a moment and watch the transformation begin, neither good nor bad. And if you would like to, you may recline back. Let's bring your witness to the third energy center, Manipara. See its beautiful yellow color in your solar plexus region. And let's feel the power both inside and outside yourself. Your uniqueness here, your determination, and your statement is, I do. Notice the tissues beginning to shift, the breath and energy moving through you. Feel the skin stretching the deep hip flexors begin to release and maybe take your arms overhead to incorporate a nourishing heart opener. Experiment with chanting the mantra seed sound Ram.
Friend, slowly guide yourself up to a seat. Press with your feet into the earth with bent legs. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side, rinsing the hips. Then drop both knees to the left on the long side of your mat for deer pose. Take some props to your right side. Reaching both hands behind your head. Elbows are reaching out. Open your heart up and then find a side bend here. Inhale. Open and lift the heart. Exhale and twist and rinse your heart center towards the sky ever so gently. We are side bending to the right side. You don't have to twist deeply for this to be effective. Bring your breath and attention to the center of your heart, the fourth chakra, Anahata chakra, located at the center of your chest, Visualize the beautiful color green. Feel energy of love, compassion, understanding, and peace. The statement for this pose is, I love. The mantra seed sound is yam. Chant this sound throughout the pose to feel the energy and vibration. Softly rise up to sit. Pause here. Look from side to side. Rinse out your jaw, your shoulders. Releasing the cervical spine. Take both knees up and over to the right side of your mat and your feet over to the left. Staggering your legs for deer again. Move your props to the outside of your left hip. Side bending towards them or lowering a hand into the earth. Feel that nice side bend over to the left side. Inhale and tune and focus into the heart energy. Feel the heartbeat connect to your pulse and then melt into stillness of this pose. Maybe chanting the sound yam.
Okay, yogis, let's come up. Turn to the right short edge of the mat, moving onto your hands and knees. Let's take the hips from side to side, like you're wagging your tail. And then move into a cat and round through the spine, tucking the tail, arching into a cow. Open the backside of your heart as you round. And now stretch the front side as you open your spinal column into extension. Continue to flex and extend, moving the heart energy through the body. Okay, when you're ready, let's slowly come down to the belly. Pressing up onto the forearms for Sphinx. Lift the heart, gently opening the throat. Bring your awareness now to the throat chakra. Our throat chakra is called Vishuddha and the fifth energy center. Visualizing the color blue in the region of your throat, opening this area that cultivates expression and creativity, inspiration, communication, speaking your truth and trusting, trusting. Feel the divine awareness in this space. And the statement is, I talk. Experiment with reaching the arms further forward or wider to modify the pose and feel your lung expansion, the rhythm of your heart, the vibration all around you. Connect to the swirling energy wheel in your throat. Our seed mantra is hum. Okay, go ahead and release our pose. Walk your arms down, lowering your chest into the earth, wiggling your hips. And then move on to your side and push up to sit. I'm using four blocks, taking three horizontally across the short part of the yoga mat and one on top of the three so it becomes a nice heart opener. When you are ready, take the props flush up against your lower back and then drape yourself back over them in a reclining butterfly, bringing the soles of your feet together, gently recline back over your props. Lying back, we want to try to get the heart open, 
and the head comes all the way back, opening the throat, or you can even just melt down into the earth. No worries if it's not feeling right to invert your head. Just listen to your body and do what feels good. Once you find your pose, move your awareness to your vision in the middle of your head in line with the eyebrows. Agina. The sixth energy center. Visualize the color blue or indigo. Feeling your powers of forgiveness and pure knowledge intuition, decision-making, and surrendering to our egocentric brain, tuning into a deep sense of self-realization, inspiration, and imagination. Our statement here is, I see. Your seed sound is OM. See what it feels like when you chant this sound and tune your whole body. Okay, friends, when you are ready, we are ever so gently coming up to sit or simply roll off the blocks and come up to a seat. Let's prepare for Shavasana. If you have your four props, we are going to float our hands and feet on them. So place them where you think your feet will fall. And when lying down, you can push them into place and then do the same thing with your hands. Lie back and simply feel yourself floating here in this deep divine relaxation. Let's first start with just a little bit of facial relaxation. Notice any residual tension that you might be holding in your jaw or your temples. Take your index finger and your thumb of each hand and gently squeeze between the eyes that fleshy part give it a little squeeze maybe a little massage so let's just hold this for a moment And now gently release your hands into the earth. Let's bring our attention just above the crown of the head. The seventh energy center. 
Sara Sahara. See the color purple at the crown of your head, connecting into that place of detachment and transcendence. And as you breathe into this moment, feel that beautiful tapestry of the entire universe just vibrating around you. And in the next moment, touch that exhilarating, elusive, mysterious feeling of being one with everything. Your statement here is, I am boundless. The seed mantra is a silent own. So if you choose to, you can chant this sound without saying it out loud. Okay, friends, when you are ready, begin to deepen your breath and just see where you need to go. If you want to stay in final relaxation a bit longer, please do. Maybe wiggle your fingers and your toes. Tune into this exquisite moment and see what your body desires. Maybe pull yourself into a little ball and roll over to your side. Come on up to a seated posture. Let's consider the intention once more, whatever it is, and if it changed, or maybe you don't even remember what it was, that's okay. We are always transforming. So maybe set an intention now, something that you can take with you throughout your day off the mat. And as we close our practice, oh, let's resonate to the sound of OM together. Bringing your hands to your heart center. Um. Om Shanti 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 Namaste. Namaste, friends. Thank you so much for being here and shining your beautiful, beautiful chakra energy with me today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. That really helps the growth of the channel and I love to hear from you, so please comment below. It brings me so much joy to hear about how these videos are helping. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also on bodyillumination.com. Namaste, friends. Big hugs and big blessings to you all.